All right, so I've got seven remote jobs from companies who are always hiring for remote jobs where you can make up to $1,200 per week. And the best thing is most of these require absolutely no experience. And the first one on the list is going to be an AI writing tester. And specifically, you'd be working for the company scale.com, also known as scale AI. And basically what you're gonna be doing here is you'll be a freelance writer that actually trains AI. So you'll be rating its responses, you'll be helping it come up with stories, you'll be fact-checking AI AI produced texts, and you'll be at the forefront of teaching machines how to express themselves in a way that makes sense to humans. Basically, you'll be teaching AI how to write like Yoda taught Luke how to use the force. And of course, you can do this all remotely from the comfort of your home. And right now, there is a ton of demand for people who have this skill set. So it's relatively easy to apply for. Now, they estimate you make about $15 to $25 per hour. And you can work remote, but you must be in the US in one of these states. So the pros here are the opportunity to work remotely and set your own hours. You get to work on the cutting edge of a new industry that has tons of opportunity. You get to expand your writing skills and knowledge in the intersection of creativity and technology. And there are weekly earnings and the opportunity to work on diverse projects. The cons here are the projects might require critical assessment on AI generated content, which can be very repetitive. And you have to adapt to evolving technologies. Overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. By the way, a bunch of people might apply to these jobs and so they might not be available after a little bit. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification notification bell so that you don't miss out when I post new jobs like this. The next one on the list might be interesting to you if you're a gamer who enjoys playing games all day and you want to actually get paid to do it. And on top of that, you might actually get access to early releases or early versions of games. And that's being a play tester for the company Playtest Cloud. And a play tester is basically somebody who plays video games before they're released to the public and you give feedback on them to make sure they're as good as possible and also make sure that there's no bugs. So this is a great way for companies to to make sure there's no glitches or gameplay issues. And I really like this quote by Jesse Shell where he says, a game's success depends on its playtesting. And Playtest Cloud actually has a network of 400,000 playtesters worldwide. And this has really good online ratings from people who have worked at the company. Now, you probably won't be able to make a full-time income from this because you'll have to kind of accept gigs as they pop up. But with that being said, a 15-minute playtest will pay you around $9. So some of the pros here are you get paid to play video games. That's a pretty big pro. You get to work from home and you get to work on a variety of different games. Some of the cons are you might have to play games that you don't necessarily enjoy and you're probably not going to be able to make a full-time living from this. Now a pro tip on this one is when you're creating your profile, when they ask you on that profile section what video games you like, you want to go ahead and put a bunch of different ones because that means you're going to get a lot more invites. This one gets an opportunity score of 8 out of 10. The next one on the list is very interesting because you get to actually write things without having to write them. And this is also known as voice writing for three play media. And this is where you basically use specialized software in order to listen to some sort of media, and then you dictate what you hear, creating a detailed transcription. And basically they use a three-step transcription process that has a 99.6% accuracy rate. And there's different estimates for how much you make at this company, which range from $21 to $30 per hour. Some of the pros here are you get to work from home, you have a flexible schedule, and you can make pretty good money. Some of the cons are it's going to require long long periods of sitting, you must have a quiet workplace, and this one is a little bit harder to get into than some of the other ones. But this is one of those kind of newer skills where you're not just being a pure transcriptionist, you're actually voice writing, so it's actually more effective and faster. Of course, you'll always be doing some typing, but it's one of those skills that isn't saturated and it still pays pretty well. So it's definitely something to look into and it's relatively easy to apply for. This one is also going to get an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list might be interesting to you if you've ever been a fan of spy movies, but you don't want to put yourself in danger. And you also like interacting with other people. And that is going to be a telephone mystery shopper. And this is basically where you'd be calling into different companies that sign up to call center QA, and you would be talking to their customer service and making sure that they do a good job taking care of their customers. So basically, you'd be auditing their customer service. And the reason this is so important is because it's been shown that it's typically five to 15 times more expensive to acquire a new customer than to just just simply retain an old one. And you'll make somewhere between 12 to $38 per hour. So again, an established company 
has a good reputation online, it's relatively easy to apply for, and it's not one of those positions that's oversaturated. So the pros here are you got a flexible work schedule, you have the opportunity to work from home, and you have the chance to provide valuable feedback so that companies can improve their customer service. Some of the cons here are that it can be repetitive. It may involve making a lot of calls in a short period of time, and it may not pay as well as other jobs. So this one, I'm going to give an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you like teaching people or helping other people to study, and you have skills such as being good at English, and that is going to be being a tutor with studypool.com. Now, you will get paid more if you're good in subjects such as math, writing, computer science, physics, and business, and they say right on the website that you can make up to $7,500 per month. Now, typically, you will be making between $16 and $21 per hour, but of course, some subjects pay more than others. So the pros here are flexible schedule, the ability to work from home, and the opportunity to make a positive impact on students' lives. Some of the cons are it can be challenging to manage a large volume of questions, and it may require work outside of regular business hours. This one gets an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Now, the next one might be good for you if you're obsessed with true crime podcasts and legal dramas, and that is going to be being a legal transcriptionist. And you would be working for legalproof.com. And basically, you'd be transcribing different types of legal documents, such as court reportings, depositions, and legal proceedings. And to get started, all you have to do is go to their website and apply. It does have relatively good ratings and reviews online, and it's estimated that their hourly pay is around $18. So the pros here are it's a flexible work schedule, and you get to have some opportunity in the legal world. So if you're planning on becoming a lawyer in the future, for instance, this could be great experience for you. Some of the cons here are it can require a high level of concentration and focus, and it can be very repetitive. This one I'm going to give an opportunity score of 8 out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you have a passion for languages and a knack for teaching. And that's going to be an online teacher for Preply. And Preply has over 10,000 teachers on their platform, and they teach in over 50 different languages. Now, Preply does prefer people who have a teaching or a tutoring background, but it is not necessary. And of course, you need to be very good at whatever language you're teaching. And you can actually set your own rates, but on average, English teachers usually charge $15 to $25 per hour. So the pros here are uh, very flexible. You can actually work from anywhere. So this is fully remote. That means you could literally be in another country and you could be doing this. You get to set your own rate. And so that means if you do a really good job with your clients, you can actually increase your rate and make more money over time. And you get to make a positive impact on someone else's life. Some of the cons here are it does require self-discipline and management skills, and it may require early or late hours depending on the student's time zone. But this is a phenomenal opportunity. I know tons of people who make a full-time income being online language teachers. And it's also something where it's very easy to get a fully remote job so you can literally work anywhere in the world. Now, these are all types of jobs you can get into with barely any experience, and you could probably land one of these jobs in like a month or less. Now, if you want jobs that pay a lot more, and they also tend to lead to careers and better opportunities down the line, then typically you are going to require a little bit of training. And I'll go ahead and put resources to different types of jobs that I think have a ton of opportunity, and there is a little bit of training involved, and I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Some of those jobs typically you can get in three months or less. But yeah, overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. And I also made a video on 13 of the best jobs with no experience needed, and it got great reviews, over 100,000 views, and you can check that out right here.